So, basically this is a solar panel on the space station. I got October 26, 2011. I want to thank the person that uploaded this originally. Uh, we'll put the disclaimer at the end, and basically this is NASA space footage anyway, so the idea that we have a perfect right to re... As long as I put my disclaimer at the end, uh, to re-up this, because this footage is supplied by our tax-paying dollars. So, I'll watch this area here, and it's going to be the same stuff we'll show you at the sun. And what we've been talking about, these V's, and basically it doesn't matter, you put the V this way, you put the V here, you put the V there, and remember the V logo on all the NASA, and we got basically, we have the V action over here too. And if I can get this footage down to exactly where the space shuttle was when they were filming this action, we can also determine eventually through Sky and Whiskey and Google and to other private telescopes and so forth and so on and see what because I'm beginning to believe that we have what the astronauts called and you might have even seen I think believe in space cowboys or whatever in Hollywood and yes it's Hollywood but we do get a lot of truth that our friends in Hollywood bleed into the movies to kind of record history a little bit even in fictitious stuff and so forth and so on because the idea that there is the common nomenclature of the meatballs in space that uh, astronauts have seen, uh, astronomers, so forth and so on, and I believe that this is basically what it's mounting to. And we are in the peak period of probably what's all considered by a lot of people the Big Bang, so forth. And yes, folks, this is Beano Black, and we're basically just going through this footage that someone zoomed in, saved us the trouble of having to reload it and zoom in on this. And this is uh, footage that's been supplied by Space Station, uh, and I want to thank all the countries because the idea that we're not just in the, the space station alone. It's not just U.S. taxpayer dollars. It's uh, other nations are in on it, too. And they know who they are. If they want to say, well, 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 we're taxpayers here in America. So the idea that we get our taxpaying dollars, the idea that when NASA has stuff that they do release to the public, they let this stuff out to us. I want to thank the, whoever did download it for the icons of showing to watch for the flashes and so forth and so on. And also, I think you missed it here, but I didn't really care about it too much. But I did tell you that that was the Space Lab solar panel to begin with there. So these are basically an up closer shot of the asteroids belts that uh, you know NASA told us on that one Thursday a while back. That the idea that. Uh, Nowhere near Earth. Well, that's about the only truthful thing they said to it, but because the idea of this stuff is nearer Earth than it's ever been in who knows how long. And the astronomers, scientists, uh, you know, there's lots of scientists and all kinds of things in the world, so the idea that it's not just, it's more or less into physics, uh, quantum physics, space, time travel, uh, that kind of science of action. Uh, astronomers, People who maybe not even call themselves astronomers and they're private and they own their telescope. There's lots of prof professional astronomers that don't get into the lingo and don't really care too much about sheepskin or someone saying this and that. Because basically we view this stuff and then I'm an industrial commercial electrician and so forth. And the idea that instrumentation, you know, we read our data and, uh, you know, Dutch is... I'll, I'll go ahead and say Dutch since I don't think Dutch is going to care too much about saying his, his uh, AKA name for the internet and so forth and so on like in his discussion rooms and stuff he basically you know I could use the word expose I guess get away with that uh, but basically showed what's basically there the technical data of HARP and all that stuff like that down on earth and in our atmosphere and so forth and so on and this is stuff out in space and I'm basically Jack of all trades and hat man to a ton of stuff, and the idea that I get interested in just about anything. So, these are objects out in space, and I want to thank again whoever the person was that, and you know who you are, that zoomed in on this and put it on the internet. Uh, basically, zoomed in on uh, space station footage, and he said, then then they turned it off here. So, and the logo too, folks, is the idea that this is. Okay, being a black here still, folks, and we basically have this, what I showed you before, the triangulation and the flopping, pretty much matches what you see up there, that space station action, too, and then we have this V here, 
and you will notice and watch this as I will go through some photos real fast and also this here and this should be behind the sun because I think I'll have the blue background of the front of the sun shots here in a minute and here we have another V here so this stuff is in space all over the place and I think these physicists and, and astronomers that get paid by NASA and other countries and stuff like that they've got to come pretty close to the same conclusion I have is the idea that we meet balls so called by a lot of the astronauts and so forth and other people at NASA and so forth over the years as a slang term and so forth and these other triangulated constellations of like you know almost like you know I mean a duh the star of David on Jewish flag uh, the state of Israel and also, you could end up, I guess, if you draw enough lines, you could probably end up with some of them that are more than five points. I mean, more than six points. Uh, because you have multiple triangulations. And we get the flop that we also know from the Nazi flag of what I always call the sickle because the idea that we do the harvest and the idea that we have, if you know about combines and if you've ever seen it flop around, the Nazi symbol basically is like uh, on a header on a combine when you're straight cutting. Uh, going forward, uh, the psi action basically of four size, uh, and so that we see four and five and these other ones in space doing this flop like you just seen in the video a few minutes ago. So uh, we've had people over the history of man looking up into space for who knows, maybe hundreds of thousands of years now. It comes back if you go back and look at some of my earlier videos. And I really think you should take time to dwell on some of my earlier videos. Uh, there's lots of information and lots of theories. And maybe you can get, be get together and write me back on some of them. Let me stop the recording and I'll bring you up the other Alaska shot. Beano Black here, folks. And basically just a real quick look tonight live at like 9.54 Central Time. I went in here and looked at uh, Earthquake. Hit it real quick before I was going to go to show you the photos. And I just want you to show you uh, how much toppling I call it toppling because the idea that they're topifying each other we're getting a lot of quakes right on top of each other uh, chili down there right now look at the action they're getting right there and if you go to any of the videos I did really early when I was giving you this action of seeing this Sun because this is way more and you can see the Sun flashing and changing from dark to this is daylight over here in this area here so when I was doing all this actually before I'm pretty sure some people probably caught on without no sound that the idea that uh, that uh, how much sun coverage is on Earth, and you can look up and see how much you know uh, water covers Earth, and how much Earth mass covers Earth, and you'll see and figure be able to figure out how much more sun coverage right now there is on the face of the Earth right now than uh, darkness. Uh, we have, and you can just see from this array here, of because it shows you and glitters you the sunlight coverage, and you see how massive it is compared to where the sun's at, and the idea that it has to be the sum of the supergiants also at the same time right now. So we are in a very new to mankind known in modern day times in our solar system, in the Milky Way universe, and melding in with the, the giants. Supergiant sequence and also with uh, the uh, asteroid belts that are basically close by Earth because they're closer than they've ever been before. When the NASA lies to you and say, oh, they're not close to Earth, but the idea that they're closer than they've ever been to Earth. So their statement's a little bogus. And once again, folks, this is stills. But you can see the, like I call it a straight cutter, like on a combine when you're cutting it straight, the header action that the idea that basically just like the Nazi emblem, you basically have the psi action. The psi there, psi here, psi there, psi there, psi there. And whatever rotations like you've seen early in the video of the space station uh, footage. And then we have these other ones here and in the and here and here and here and here and and basically that's and here. And that space, uh, and here, <laughs> being repetitive, but this, and, and also that space station footage. So hang on a minute and sort of rewind and watch that video again. He basically just zoomed in on the action that the space station footage showed. Uh, and also the idea that that one I had the cluster showing that either a relative of Alanin or Alanin, because 
those uh, asteroid belts kind of just sit there. They can actually not be in what we call a satellite is in an orbit, and like the space station is in an orbit, these natural materials of outer space are basically can slow down like a helicopter. So whatever their asteroid belt powers that they have, they can stop. And there's also some people that were, uh, one guy uploaded a shot of two satellites that Chinese have that were crisscrossing or the idea that one of them could have been the Chinese satellite, one of them could have been another satellite. And then somebody made a comment in there about the idea that he watched probably the uh, uh, Lion, uh, or the Orion or any of the asteroid showers that are going on right now. We have like about three or four. And there's going to be another video later in the week, this week, I don't know when I'll get time, that the idea that, that I will make a video of... Uh, the idea that we had a third asteroid or a fourth asteroid because we have like two or three that we know of that the NASA kind and all, all that would let us know about. We had like a third orbit tonight that wasn't, or today on the 29th of October, that wasn't one of the asteroid belts that we had a close object that was, let me show the data real fast. Yeah, folks, there's the data right here from Fireball. So the idea that, and yes, and eventually some of the people that wrote in and complained about, oh, you're saying this, and this, and that. There's a lot of information about the Fireball Network that even the people that work on the Fireball Network, the government only lets you to know you're on a need-to-know basis. So the idea that if you notice some of those shots that get zoomed in, it's not just the shots from the Fireball Network that you're getting to see. I.e., if you know the Fireball Network, keep your lips shut and pay attention to where some of the Fireball cameras are supposed to be at. Yes, air bases, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a real patriotic American, keep your mouth shut about crap. And I believe this is the time in the close one and in the orbit here. So I'll make a video about this one later. But there it is because the Haley Bop known one it goes like this. And there's one other one that's like this. But not, one's not that close and concentric. And this is like, I believe, Pluto out here or Neptune. And then the idea that comes in, and I think this is Jupiter's ring. And this is Earth's ring right here. That's us. And then the idea that this is, that is the sun right there. And then this is like, I don't know, you take a look. But that's the way these rings. And I'll show that in the next video. And here's a close object, folks, real fast. I'll play the movie. I haven't even looked at it. I'm going to look at it live right now with you, recording it. And there it is. So let's slow it down. And I'll see if I can freeze it. And there you go. There's an object. So the idea then a lot of these look like Phoenix Fire Gods or something like that. And also, like I say, if anybody knows what a header on a straight combine header looks like on a combine, and the idea just look at the Nazi symbol before they even put the other lines on it. And also, I mean, basically, it's four sides. Uh, so there's the object going by. I'll play the video real fast. Boom. I'm going to play it again. Here we go. And that's a close object, and that was like 7,000 or 7, yeah, 0.7. IU and l check out my last videos because the idea that there was closer object earlier this week. Okay, folks, here is the 11 o'clock. I actually screwed up and gave you, gave you like the earlier object. Here's the 11 o'clock. Okay, so it was down there at lower, and I'll freeze it. Oh, that was pretty large. Hang on. There you go. So it was bigger. And you see how it's getting these other bright objects out in space. And we can denote these down. Because, see, we can go back and research the time. And we can get these constellations down. Because we have positioning on this. Latitude, longitude, and everything like that. And I actually worked on a video. Uh, but I just uh, got tired and didn't get it. I didn't make a video on it. I was working on it, had it set up. And I'll do that again later in the week. Or later between now and Thanksgiving or something like that. Here we go. So, there you go. Or Christmas. Did we have Thanksgiving yet? That's how much fun I'm having. All right, so. Okay, folks, real facts. Here are the photos we had. And like I was saying, the psi action, you can see it up there in space. There. There. We see it right in front of this, or behind the sun. You see it there, and you see it. And then we'll go to so what you'll be able to get off Lasco. And you have it here. It's right there. It's right here. It's here. It's here. It's here, it's here, up here, it's down here, it's all over the place, okay? And eventually, I'm going to tell you what the idea that even like on the Fireball Network, there's a reasoning for me quoting it the way it is so that I can get 
we're just gonna we're gonna we're fishing folks let's put it that way we're fishing and important was this this straight here and you'll see that and 